Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Saturday, December 20th, 2014. We are going to go over to Poland and look at the Warsaw Ghetto area and show how it actually maps out the end of days. God said at the end times that he would show signs in the heavens and on the earth, that literally on the earth things are mapped out like a grid showing what's coming, the weaving of fate all across the earth. God has made the heavens and the earth and he's made everything. Warsaw even represents war coming and the beast is actually known as Saul. This is one of the names of the beast like one of the four horsemen or even a type of Satan figure. Maysaul. See right here Maysaul the skeleton man? We're going to show him over there. He's known as a skinwalker and such also. See him here? He's also known as the elephant man. Do you see right here? This is like the Satan figure type individual that's coming or the great millstone that's coming. See him here in this outfit? We're going to show him right over in Poland. Known as the elephant man. This is one of his uniforms if you will. See this unit right here? This is in front of everybody all day long. This hangs in the United Nations. It maps out the end of days. It shows right here a large nuclear event coming and this is when the Phoenix will rise and they will get this great sword for World War III. Over here through this blue cabinet represents everybody going up to heaven, the side of Jacob. And then the side of the red comes. See how this is red? The Satan figure, Mesaw, the Saul, right here. See him sitting right here with his telescope? See him here? See him there? There he is, right there. The Elephant Man. Right there. We're going to show this over there in Poland. Everything's going according to the Bible, and even on these ancient glyphs that the scholars have lied to us about. This glyph of Akhenaten. Remember, Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free. From Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Even when we are rescued, we are rescued from the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. The scholars have just been lying to us. Here comes this individual, this clown, with this V. He's seen like a bull, an elephant bull, or a bull elephant, or in the Bible known as Baal, B-A-A-L, Moloch, coming. See him? He's like the bull. He's going to go through Obama and do this large nuclear event. He represents the stone, the great millstone cast into the sea that rises up and does the great tribulation. See the red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse off and running? And at this time is when this phoenix rises, a type of rapture event for the souls, all right here in front of us. And they bring this new type of Eucharist that will change people into abominations. All right here, all perfectly by scripture, the fifth angel with the key to open the abyss. This event happens right by San Diego, the San Onofre power plant that's been turned off to prepare for this day. It's a giant bomb. And it's meant to be there. It's part of bruising the serpent's head. It has to be done. See the two domes? San Onofre. Oh no, he's free. And Satan is set free. This is San Diego. San Clemente means mercy. See the two domes? See the two domes of the phoenix? Perfect, right there. And you can see the phoenix leaving for the fifth age. See the five, the fifth age? Right there. Perfect. Now Jesus Christ says when his heel is bruised, the serpent's head will be bruised. His foot looks like a dog. It represents the time of the Gentiles on the earth. The, the feet. And you can actually see the dog right here. 
See this? This is Jesus Christ's foot. And when his heel is bruised, the serpent's head is bruised. And you can see right here, this is when the nukes fall. See the nuke? Right by Camp Pendleton. And then the beast rises out of the sea. We're going to show this exact same thing down over in Poland, in Warsaw. Mapped out since forever. That this is all meant to be happening. This is how the end of days begins. The great earthquake in California. This hits literally from the west coast of the USA all the way to the east coast. New York will sink underwater. The middle of the USA will be hit by the New Madrid fault line, which will crack the USA in half. The Yellowstone volcano is set to go off at this time also. The USA will fall in one hour. So let's head over to Warsaw and show all of this mapped out. So here we are in Warsaw, in Poland. Right here is the Warsaw Ghetto. Right here. See here? They did all these terrible things and everything. Then they would collect the Jews and people from here and then send them off to Auschwitz and many other concentration camps. There it is right there. This is going to show everything that we just showed, literally. Here is the dog. See this right here? Right inside of the Warsaw Ghetto. Exactly as we just showed. This shows that when the nukes fly, the phoenix will rise. See the phoenix? Oops. Here is the bomb coming. See right here? Obozo. Do you see that word right there? Obozo. How is all this done? Because God created everything. And everything's going perfectly by the Bible. Obozo. Obama. I mean, we have two more years before his presidency is up. Somewhere in that time, the end of days will begin. It could be at any time. <clears throat> he betrays everybody, just as Judas did. Oops, sorry. See the bomb hitting the dog? I mean, this is perfect. See it right there? Bam. And then you can see the phoenix rises. See the phoenix rising? You, you can't fake this. This is just perfect. Well, there's only one other way to make it more perfect. The leopard. This represents Obama in the Bible. He's seen as the leopard. See that there? The leopard. This glyph hangs in the Denver International Airport. The Freemasons show it. There's the leopard fallen. Just as when Judas betrayed Jesus and then Judas died. It's the end of the time of the blue. See here the blue? And this is the ten horns. Ten nations that betray the USA. Here's the woman that's caught away. And there's the USA on fire. You can see a 13 there for the Revelation 13 beast rising. But see the blue? It's the end of the time of the blue. And then Mesol, Warsaw, comes. The same guy, I showed this guy actually at the concentration camps. Right here, Warsaw, Mesol. The red bull, the red horse means World War III. This is the door opening for the rapture, for your soul. See the souls leaving as this bird? And then these guillotines begin. And he is the beast below the bottomless pit. See the pyramid? And he's involved with Islam and pain and suffering. See the cube of the Kaaba? And he's riding the red bull. See the body parts? He's the butcher. Exactly like the concentration camps coming again. And it's all meant to happen. That guy, right there, perfectly, right in front of us. Him. The elephant man. He's right here. See the leopard coming down? And then you can see the... See Obama doing the bomb? On the USA. And then the phoenix rises. All the wise virgins escape. And this same event bruises the head of the serpent. It has to be done. There is the elephant man sitting there sleeping, the beast ready to rise from the bottomless pit. He's known as the little horn of the Bible. So there he is. 
There's no way to fake all this perfection, the perfection of the whole event happening. See the leopard, the newt coming, you can see the dog. See when it hits right by the dog, it bruises the head of the serpent also. And at the same time, we rise as the phoenix. I keep showing everything has to be done perfectly by the Bible. See how it's a perfect event? And then this guy gets up. Warsaw, Maysaw, and he's going to do the same things as he did before with those concentration camps. It's all prepared. Why is it going to happen like this? It, it has to happen by the Bible perfectly. See how it's split in half right here? This side goes to heaven. This side gets this thing waking up. And we can see, there he is. This represents the woman of the Bible. And when she bruises his head, you see the the microscope here and how it's right between her breasts. See as the domes look like the breasts, like us being born? And this represents the nuclear event. And when the woman is catches fire, the woman in the Bible is burned with fire, the whore that rides the beast at that point. This is the beast. And then when she catches fire and she is judged, we all rise as that phoenix, and it bruises his head, exactly by scripture. See, there's the phoenix rising, perfect. And then the white horse comes, all of this perfect, even the dead rising. And they get that great sword right there. But you can see all of that right here, perfect. May God have mercy on us all. Isn't that fantastic? That's Maysaul. That's that guy right there, this elephant. See him? Wow. Isn't that wild? Look at all that. That's all perfect. The nuke, the leopard, the phoenix, the dog, and then the bull getting up. Him. Him right there. That guy. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. This is from the Prometheus movie. See here they have the ship and it's pointed right at the bullhorns. See this bullhorns right up here? This is the big collision coming as we keep showing. As the phoenix rises and all of us rise, we will bruise the serpent's head. The serpent is seen as this bull, ball, through here. And we have to bruise his head and go over the horns of the bull. See right out there? Now this is also why in the USA you keep seeing things like for the Michael Brown case about hold your hands up. This is done several times. People didn't realize it started in this movie. When we charge at the Red Bull and we beat him and we go over his head and bruise his head and we go into heaven and then he rises back up on earth to do the Great Tribulation. It happens right here. Let's do this. See, we're going to hit that freaking bull in the head. Hands up, baby. And then the great millstone is cast into the sea. That's what that represents, exactly right there, just as we keep showing. This is the beast that rises out of the sea. See him perfect right there? Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's the dog, there's the phoenix rising, there's the bomb coming, there is Obama, it even says, oh, bozo, right there, literally. And then you can see the elephant waking up, the little horn of the Bible, the bull, Baal. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.